You know, I am a big believer in magical future. I have seen it happening and that is the reason I'm here to tell you that future is always full of magic and surprises. You can't even predict it in any of the best of the ways because future is magical. Let me give you a small example. I was 14 year old or say I think 16 year old when I bought my first phone. It was a Nokia brick phone and it which was horrible. But yeah, we were very happy that we had a phone that we could communicate over wirelessly to someone. And then within seven years, I think less than seven years, Apple announces a magical phone which has a touch screen and no buttons. And humanity took a leap from a regular brick phone to a smartphone and today everybody has a smartphone right no button smartphone now isn't that magic for a person who is in 1970 to witness something like this it is right now another example i'll give you is the advent of artificial intelligence and machine learning in last like last six months is such that it has increased and enhanced the capacity of humans by thousand times okay i'm just talking about last six months imagine the power of computing clubbed with artificial intelligence is becoming so huge that it is going to do things which has never been done. Three years ago, uh, during the pandemic, I recorded a podcast and the title was, We will be able to discover 1000 drug molecules per year. And I'm so happy to inform you that it's already happening and it's already possible. And all thanks to three things, bioinformatics, artificial intelligence, and machine learning. All these algorithms are coming together finally and it is going to help you take a leap in the future of biology. So just like a normal person who used to be using a landline or a brick phone of Motorola or Nokia is upgraded to a smartphone like the phones of today. The same way our drug discovery process is going to get upgraded in the next I think six months to one year. You are going to really witness magic and magical future in the next six months to one year. And this is going to happen only because of bioinformatics. So no matter which domain you are from, if you are learning any of these three, which is artificial intelligence, machine learning or bioinformatics, you are going to be a part of this magical future. But if you restrict yourself, then you can never be a part of this future. Now, let me tell you about the current dis drug discovery process. Current drug discovery process is highly costly. Okay, it takes 10 years. Okay, the first point. Second point, billions of dollars are invested to find one molecule. One. Now, imagine you spend one billion to discover one molecule, right? Now, that is why these molecules, drug molecules and drugs are so costly, right? But what if we want these medicines to reach to the poor people also, right? And that is where bioinformatics and machine learning and artificial intelligence will make it so easy to discover that you will be able to churn out 1000 drug molecules every year. Now, let me explain you the process. So, drug discovery process is a four step process. The first process is research and development. Currently, it takes three to six years. The next process is preclinical studies. Normally, it takes up to one year, which includes in vivo, in vitro and toxicity testing. Next is the third step, which is clinical trials. Right now, it takes four to seven years. Now, imagine four to seven years and there will be phase one, phase two, phase three trials. Then there will be dosage and safety checks and all the monitoring will happen. And then it reaches the fourth step, which is review and approval. That is where the FDA comes into picture. The safety and efficacy evaluation is done. The approval and manufacturing happens and then post release monitoring happens after the release of the drug, how it is you know, uh, getting absorbed in the population. So this is the current drug discovery process. So like I said, it takes six years to develop a molecule, then one year for clinical preclinical studies, another four to seven years for clinical trials, and then one to two years for a regulatory of approval. So this entire pipeline is more than 10 to 12 years right now. And a lot of money is invested. And that is why all of us find drugs costlier. But don't you think you, and so at some point in time, even I faced this problem that the medicines are so costly. What if we could make it cheap? You have all that power to make it happen. Because what I'm going to tell you next is going to revolutionize the way you look at drug discovery process.
Now, drug discovery process, again, the future of drug discovery process also will have four steps. You can't deny that. Of course, there will be research and development. But now the research and development part will not be done by humans. We just replace it. Okay. What do we do there? We bring in bioinformatics. We bring in target identification, then virtual screening instead of manual screening. So earlier what was happening is we were doing compound screening through wet lab methods. Now we are not going to do that. We will use virtual screening dry lab methods to find out the possible potential drug molecules and then we'll do the molecular modeling within the computer and if, if everything looks fine we'll further optimize this drug moiety using artificial intelligence and machine learning because we will have so much of data right now this will lead to a better molecule getting discovered and the time which we are right now consuming is three to six years it will reduce to a maximum of six months a minimum of one month also you with the power of computing maybe it will reduce to one day also it's possible so the r d which used to take six years now is squeezed to six weeks or six months imagine that is the biggest leverage you have as a bioinformatician so you can reduce the cost of producing drugs and that is why companies will always demand more of bioinformaticians more of people who have ai ml ideas and who can implement it in bioinformatics now the second part obviously will be preclinical studies which will be ex vivo in vivo uh, in vitro and toxicity studies now you see since already the drug is optimized by AI and ML, the chances of uh, getting rejected is very low. So now the in vitro and in vivo and toxicity, toxicity studies will also be reduced because of these techniques and technologies. Third, clinical trial. Again, it will reduce because the success rate will be so high that it, you will be able to do things faster. So AI, ML and bioinformatics will give you better uh, molecules the rejection chances will be very less because it would have optimized it according to the population and clinical trial phase one two three four all will pass through faster and then comes the drug approval so when you when you look at drug approval basically drug approval is all about looking back at how the drug was produced how it was uh, studied and how it was uh, performed under the clinical trial, how it has performed. So all that, since it is already very clean and very white and very smooth, you will get your drug regulatory approvals faster, right? And then thanks to all the data points which we have today, the regulatory bodies will be able to collect data points faster. Using AI and ML, they will be able to churn out and find out, okay, this particular drug looks like it's going to have a side effect or not, all that within a span of a few weeks. So what used to take 12 years is going to take one year. That's how it is all designed and this is all going to happen in the future. But like I said, you are supposed to be the magician when the magic is about to happen, right? And you can be that magician if you learn bioinformatics, if you learn artificial intelligence, if you learn machine learning. And that is why Biotechnica is bringing together the best of bioinformaticians, machine learning and artificial intelligence, all of it together in our internship. Now, this particular internship is in the evening. The theory classes will be in the evening, followed by hands-on training. And it is all virtual, so you don't need to move out anywhere and do anything. You All you have to do is just sit, relax and listen to the lecture and then apply that into all the softwares. Now, our expert is going to be Dr. Farhan Zameer, sir. He has trained 100 plus students for in their PhD and now he's going to train you for bioinformatics and he will train you on 20 plus bioinformatics softwares, all open source, so that even when the uh, this particular uh, internship has ended, still you can apply because you will have all the softwares installed in your computer. Now, the question which comes is, okay, what are the kind of jobs you can get under bioinformatics so watch my next video in that i'll be discussing about types of jobs which you can get as a bioinformatician now many students come to me and say sir there are a lot of free resources on on the internet which trains you for bioinformatics it's true it's true it's right and uh, if you are if you cannot afford an internship you can always go for it but the thing is when you learn from experienced hand you learn faster right when you just go and watch some videos by watching a movie, you cannot learn acting. You have to act in the movie to learn acting, right? The same way to be, become a bioinformatician, you, can, you can't just watch 10 videos all together and you become a bioinformatician. You have to really get your hands dirty. You have to use the software, fail, 
come back to the expert and ask high field how to do, how to fix it he will guide you again then you go back and do it this is how back and forth the back and forth channeling is what helps you win the world so like i said in the beginning i'm a firm believer in the magical future and i have seen it happening with iphone i have seen and you you must have seen iphone and i'm I have, i'm seeing it right now happening with the artificial intelligence now let me tell you that you are going to be a part of that magical future if you are a part of this ai ml and bioinformatics revolution don't delay guys the link is in the description bioinformatics is the future of biosciences biology where computers meet you and the biologist inside you so why you are delaying come ahead and join this particular program and if you have any questions put them down in the comment section i'll see you soon in the next one where i'll be discussing the jobs type of jobs you can get as a bioinformatician subscribe to our channel and be in touch thank you so much take care bye bye